So it is Sunday brunch time, you guys. This look today is very springy, very soft. This is perfect if you had a really great time last night on Saturday night and you need something that's going to brighten up your eyes, but it's still very quick, very easy to do. Um, I'm using a palette that we just started selling. It's called the Not So Basic Palette even though it has lots of great neutrals in there. Um, so we put this co compilation together. Whew, my mirror's dirty, gotta clean that off. But these are the colors that I'm showing you guys today as well as a foil pigment. But this is the look, so pull out your makeup goodies and let's get started on our Sunday brunch makeup. <laughs> All right, you guys, to start off our Sunday brunch look, I'm mean, going to pull out my hemp seed oil. <laughs> I know you guys are like, what the heck is she putting this on her face? We're going to moisturize this. This is our pre-base. I learned this trick from my friend Kevin. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do, you guys, is take a little bit of hemp seed oil. The reason why we're using this one is non comedogenic which means it's not going to break you out. I'm taking a little, um, what is this brush? The Multitasker brush from Sephora. Anything that's dome-shaped, we're going to take a little bit of that, and I'm just going to buff it onto my skin just to kind of hydrate it because I have such dry skin, you guys. But if you're oily skin, don't feel like you have to do this step. But I like applying this under my foundation to help it glide a little bit better. It smells very earthy. It smells very grassy. All right, next up, you guys, we're going to cover my dark circles because I did not sleep well last night. So we're going to hide these bad boys. So you can take any sort of peach corrector. Bobbi Brown has one. Um, Eve Pearl has a great one. We're just going to take a bit of an orange-based concealer or a peachy one. We're going to put a bit under the eyes. For me, I like doing this step because um, my dark circles can get really gray, and this will kind of counteract that grayness. Okay, next up is a foundation. You guys know my favorite one is the Marc Jacob one. It's the Remarkable one. It looks like this. I'm going to use the color Bisque Medium, so we're going to put a little bit of this. Now, you guys, this stuff is very pigmented. A little goes a long way, so that's why we're going to buff it into the skin. So what I do is I put little drops on each part, and then, did I get some of my hair? I did. Okay, we're gonna put a bit under here on the neck. You have to blend it down the neck, you guys. You don't want that orange line right here, so make sure to blend it down your neck. We're gonna take that same kabuki brush. Let me actually start with the neck. I love choker necklaces, but if I wear them too tight, I feel like I got the Pillsbury dough, you know, the one that you open up and it like pops out, it's like, Gonna make sure I don't get my neck roll going on here. So we're gonna work around that shiznit. <laughs> so we're gonna come down here on the chest just a little. Say bye bye freckles, bye bye. Buff that down. And then for the rest of the skin, do you guys see how I'm just buffing it in? I'm doing circular motions. And if you need a little bit more, because I like a little bit extra coverage on the center of my face, I start here and then I start buffing it outwards. Don't apply most of your foundation on the outer part of your face. You want it to be most of the coverage here and then soften as it goes out. Okay, now the next step for you guys is to set it with a little bit of powder. If you have dry skin, you have to use the least amount of powder possible. Whew, it's going everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Dermacolor Fixing Powder. This one's a waterproof one. It stays put, it's colorless, lasts all day. What I like to do is take a beauty blender and I wet it very, very slightly. So it's just very slightly damp. And what I'll do is take that powder and we're gonna pack this into the skin. You're not gonna um, buff it with a brush. I like packing it on with some sort of sponge. So what I do is I'll focus on the T-zone and set that under eye area. That's what's going to crease on you first. Don't forget you guys to get the eyes too because that's going to be the base for our um, eyeshadow a little bit later is to get a little bit of face powder on there. We have new bronzers that you guys get to sneak peek see of. So feel special. I'm showing you right now. Do not judge the packaging. We are not selling them like this. They'll be a nice packaging. But we have bronzers that have a very slight sheen to them coming out. They're beautiful. We have three colors coming. So I'm going to use the medium one right now. I like using our angled stippling brush. I feel like it's a great one for me. I'm almost going to apply it like a contour, even though I'm not technically contouring. I'm going to bring it up. I'll just show you. I need to just stop talking. <laughs> so what I'm doing, you guys, is I'm putting it under the cheekbone, but I'm gonna bring it up a little bit so it fades into a nice golden-y color. 
You see how it's adding some warmth back into my face so I don't look so flat and dull. And the sheen on these is beautiful. It looks like skin. There's just a light bit of sheen, but it's not shimmery, so it's not unflattering. It won't bring out your pores. And look how that blends into the skin. I mean, come on, you guys, come on. <laughs> and we have a shade that's a little bit lighter than this for my porcelain beauties, and one that's deeper for my beautiful chocolate girls, too. So everyone gets a bronzer. You get a bronzer, you get a bronzer, everyone gets a bronzer. <laughs> So we're putting this around the forehead. I just like to warm up my face a bit. So put it around the temples, up here. Just want to warm everything up. Okay, now our next step for the face, you guys, I'm going to do the highlighter. You know this one is my favorite. This is Daybreak. It's the peachy color one because I love just a nice warm glow to the skin. I'm going to take the cheek highlighter brush and apply this just the, to the top of the skin. Now these are pretty shiny, so if you guys don't want that much shine, I'll show you how to fix it here in a second. So I'm buffing it onto the top of the cheekbones, but if that's too much for you, you can always go in with your beauty blender and kind of tap it out and blend it in so it's not too, too intense. But for those of you who like looking like that disco ball, you can put on two layers. <laughs> I'm going to use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I'm using number four. I like to use two different colors for my brows, one for the outer edges and a lighter one for the center so it's not this harsh one color brow. So I'm gonna take the number four and we're going to put this just under the brows and I'll soften them here in a second, but I'm just creating a nice crisp line under here. And then I like to fill out the outer part of my eye. Then take the number three, which is a lighter color, and I'm gonna fill in just the top part, coming inwards, so it's a little bit lighter. All right, now for the eyes, we're gonna use the new palette that we've put together for you. It's called the Not So Basic. It has everyday neutrals in there, but it's not basic. It's not boring. You have a mixture of cool tones and browns. So I'm gonna take any sort of crease brush like this. We're gonna go in with Sidekick, which is this warm reddish brown here. And we're gonna put this on the outer part of the eye and just give a nice, soft, warm glow to the outer corner. You see how it just gives a nice little soft brunchy feel. Take that same brush. Now we're going to go in with this one, which is Beaches and Cream. And it's a nice soft vanilla-y peachy color. Again, very springy, very brunchy. We're just gonna buff out any harsh lines here in the crease. Okay, I'm gonna smudge a little bit more of that sidekick under the lower lash line. You guys can use a brush like this. This is the Morphe R431. It's just a smudger brush of some sort. You guys use whatever you want. You can use a pencil brush. We're gonna put this under the lower lash line to warm it up. And I like adding a little bit of color under the eyes because sometimes when you're tired, because we know you all been partying on Saturday night the night before brunch. <laughs> so we want to hide those dark circles under here. So adding a bit of color will help open up your eyes. I know it sounds contradictory, but I promise it works. Take a bit more of Beaches and Cream and go under it just to buff it out. All right, now if you want some dimension in the outer part of the eye, you can mix uh, Mocha and Concrete Jungle, or you could do one or the other. I'm just taking an outer V-type brush, a small dumb-shaped brush. Do you see how I'm like, dip, 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 dip? Let's pick both. We don't want one or the other. We're going to mix. <laughs> All right, we're going to put a bit in the outer part of the eye. And this will add some dimension. We're still keeping it soft, but we're just adding a little extra color, a little oomph to it. Okay. 
So now if you want to keep it very subtle, very soft, you can stop at this step for the eyes. But if you partied really hard last night and you need some little vavoom to your eyes, you can add a bit of a pigment. I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek Foiled one in Illusion. And I love using the pigments because they have a lot of high impact shine. What this is gonna do is make you look very awake, very vivid. So I'm gonna take a flat stiff brush, pack it into the brush, and we're going to put this on the center of the eyes just right there. And do you see how it adds a little bit of uh, brightness to the eyes? So you fool everyone and make them think that you got a full night's sleep, but you know that your butt came home at three in the morning. But we're not judging. So right there. And then you can go back in with that. Where did my crease brush go? Right here. You can kind of soften it out a bit. We just want to brighten the eyes. Isn't that a beautiful color? I love this. That was illusion. Giving the illusion we slept, but we didn't. All right, now the last step is the mascara. I have lash extensions on. I know, I'm faking it, I know. Ain't nobody had time to put lashes on anymore. But if you guys want to have extra lashes added in, I love the Kiss Trio ones. These are the little bit more dramatic ones. All you do is take some glue, drop it in the little bucket here, let it sit for maybe about 30 seconds, and then take your tweezers, pluck them into the glue, stick them right on the lashes, let them dry, then put your mascara on. You don't have to worry about the strip lashes. They're so much easier. So if you guys want to do that, you can. I'm skipping it because my extensions are still intact. So <laughs> we're going to put mascara on. I love the L'Oreal Voluminous. This has been my favorite for many, many years. Six dollars. So we like saving money on that. Let's just put a good coat of mascara on upper and lower lashes. So anyways, I'm going to use the Plush Matte Cream. This is the color Beach Bunny. Perfect name for getting ready for summer, right? They're all going to be beach bunnies. So we're going to put this one on. It's a beautiful soft peach color and everyone looks good in this one. You guys notice I always look like a pirate when I put lip products on. I close one eye for some reason. I'm like, hey, I don't know why I do that. I pulled a pirate move. Just when I do lip products though, not eyes. And yet I can talk while I still put lip product on. There we go. That is our Sunday brunch look. Very fresh, very warm, very springy. So <laughs> hopefully that gives you guys some ideas of how to use your not so basic palette, even though it has some very lovely neutrals in there. So anyways, <laughs> thanks you guys for watching. I really hope you guys have a great week and have fun with your makeup and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.